Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video we'll take a deeper look at the Helium Validator update. So yes, the Helium Validators are live. So in this video I'll take a look at what it would mean if you want to run your own validator or what the options are if you don't want to run your own validator. If you like the sound of that, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. As you can see on the website of Helium, Helium mainnet staking is alive. Basically, if you want to stake Helium, you will have to stake it in a validator. And if you want to run a validator, you will have to stake 10,000 HNT. And of course, this is not an easy task. Right now, at a price of 11.48 dollars, that means you would have to stake 110,000 dollars in HNT. Even though mainnet staking only launched two days ago, we are already at 100% capacity. That means we needed at least 100 validators in order to go to the real mainnet launch. And as you can see, already 3.3 million HNT has been staked in validators. Now, what does this mean when it comes to returns? So basically, if 1 million HNT is staked, you will get 360% uh, APR. 2 million, 180, 3 million, 120. So right now we're between 3 million and 4 million HNT staked. So I assume we'll probably quickly go to about 6%. So my estimation is that in the first year you'll be getting in between 40 and 60% in return per year. When it comes to returns, this means that you can expect 360% return annually if 1 million HNT tokens are staked. If 2 million are staked, then 180%, 3 million, 120. So right now we're between 3 and 4 million. That means right now you will be getting 100% return per year. Of course, this number will continue to grow and I think we will hit about 6 million HNT staked by the end of the year. So you can expect about 60%. Assuming that the network will continue to grow, I think it would be a safe assumption that you'll get on average 40 to 45 percent per year in 2022 and i do think that is a really really nice return so where do these rewards come from well basically this is the original setup in the network so we have challenge rewards proof of coverage rewards witness rewards data rewards and consensus group rewards so in the old setup if i can call it that way the miners could be selected for a consensus group and then six percent of that block um, those rewards would go to that consensus group. Now the problem is a miner is a very basic piece of equipment. The processor that's in there is pretty slow and it's not a dedicated server. So the bigger the network becomes, the faster you want consensus to be performed. So in this case, the miners were a bottleneck and that is why the consensus mechanism is being pulled out and is being pushed into dedicated validator servers. And that is exactly what is happening with the validator node update. As you can see, we still have that 6%. Nothing is changing in that aspect. The only difference is that this 6% is not going to random miners, but it's going to be distributed along validator nodes. All right, this brings us to the question, how can you enjoy these rewards if you are no longer getting these rewards with your miner? Well, basically, you will have to stake HNT. There are two options, so you can do it all by yourself. This means you have to run a full validator node, which means that you have to invest 10k HNT and lock it up for about five months. This also means that you have to run your own server. You can do this at home, which is definitely not recommended, or you can use a cloud service like the one from Amazon. If this is too technical for you, then you can, of course, still uh, outsource it. So there are companies, we'll go over them in a second, who offer to do the full service for you, or they also offer pooling services, so you don't have to invest the full 10k HNT. Let's first take a look at what it takes to run a full node yourself. So, of course, as I said before, you need 10k HNT. Um, if you have been in the project for a very long time, you might have 10k HNT, or if you have a lot of friends who are into Helium, you might be able to pull together and run your own node. When it comes to technical requirements, you'll have to run a Linux server. These requirements are not that high. I think the most important is that you have a really, really good internet connection. This basically implies that a regular internet connection that you have at your home will probably not be enough. You'll need a business line to ensure that you have a stable connection. Otherwise, you'll get penalties and you'll be selected less for the consensus groups. Another solution, of course, is a cloud solution. So we can look at Amazon or Azure and so forth. So if we want to take a look at what it takes, let's just see what the T2 large package means. So if we go to the AWS website and we look at the product details, then we see here T T2 large. If we would lock it down for one year, 
which would make sense if you're going to invest that much anyway, then we would be paying $0.055 cent per hour. If you would translate that to a monthly cost, then you'll end up at about $40 per month, which is definitely very acceptable. Of course, the only problem so to speak is that you'll have to run your own node you have to keep it up to date you have to keep your server up to date you have to make sure that you have all the security updates in place because if you're staking 10k hnt right now it's 100,000. but if we are continuing a bull run this might become 200 300 400 000, so that is a really really big responsibility when it comes to deploying the Helium software, it's really not that difficult. You'll find a very nice guide on the Helium website. It might look a bit complicated initially, but I already ran a test server on the testnet and it wasn't that hard. Just follow all the steps you find here and you will be good to go very quickly. If you got any questions, just go to the Helium Discord and they will help you right away. Now, as I said before, you will be responsible in keeping your server up to date. If you don't, then of course there are penalties and these penalties will result into you not being selected as often or at least decreasing your chance of being selected for a consensus group. And of course, if you are being selected less, you will be earning less rewards. If you want to know more about these penalties, just check out this page and then you have all the penalty types. Uh, as you can see, there are a few general penalties. This is just to make sure that everybody has an equal chance of being selected and that no validator is staying in the consensus group for too long. All right, that's it for doing it yourself. So the main concern for me would be the big responsibility of running a server that has a value of over 100,000. Setting it up is technically not that difficult and the monthly cost is definitely acceptable as well. Then we move over to option number two, which is outsourcing. So on the Helium website, we see a list of uh, companies that offer the outsourcing option. It is very, very, very important to know they are not affiliated with Helium. These are just people from the community that said, I want to offer a service and they contacted Helium and said, hey, we have this service up and running and uh, can you please add us to the list? This also means there is no required KYC. Everybody can run this node and there is no direct link and there is no accountability. So please, please, please do your research. I did take a look at the entire list, but I only did a quick look. So again, do your own research, uh, depending on how much HNT you're planning to contribute. All right, rather than going through every website individually, I made a little Excel sheet. So basically, the summary is if you want to do it yourself, you'll be paying about $40, $50 per month in uh, cloud services. You will, of course, keep 100% of all the earnings. That's the good thing. The bad thing is, is that you will have to be uh, responsible for everything. You have to keep your server up and running. You have to keep it up to date. Uh, you have to make sure that all the security updates are done. You have to keep in mind that there is $100,000 on that server and that is your responsibility. On the other hand, if you use an external service, again, it is your responsibility to do your research because you are trusting somebody else with your money. So if you are planning to invest 100,000 anyway, then you are investing 100,000 with people you don't really know. So in that case, you might perhaps be more comfortable in running it yourself. Now, if you don't want to invest the time and you don't want the responsibility to keep that server up to date and you do trust your HNT with other people, then price wise, the best full note is stake my HNT. They only ask 169 US dollar flat rate per month. Personally, I don't think the website looks that great. So this is the website of stake your helium. When it comes to design, it's not really my thing. It doesn't look that professional. I think um, they're going to offer partial stake. Sadly, I don't know when. And right now they only offer the full validator solution. The good news is that they say that it will be total custody for you. So you will have the keys and so forth. You'll be in control of the uh, of the validator node. They'll simply set it up and keep the server running and they'll ask $169 flat fee, no surprises. So that's definitely interesting. They also have an about us section on the website. And if you scroll down, they also link to their LinkedIn pages. So you can do some more research into who these people are. So it's definitely good that they put some information about themselves on the website as well. When it comes to pooling, it seems like right now the best pooling option is Helium Validator. They will take 3% of the earnings and then they charge 120 US dollars per month for the server. Of course, if you have 
10% of that validator note, you will pay 10% of those fees. That would be $12 per month. If you only stake 100 HNT, then you have 1% of the validator note. And then you, of course, you'll only pay $1.2. So this is the website of Helium Validators. Scrolling down, you see they have two options. So they have the full stake and a partial stake. It is nice to see that they also have a little calculator on the website. And they have the full team on there as well with links to their LinkedIn pages. Scrolling down, we see some more information about how to unstake your validator. And this is very good that they put this information on there because I didn't see this on the other websites. So basically if a pool has 50% of the people saying, hey, we want to stop staking, then they will shut down the pool and the five month period will be uh, starting. And then after five months, everybody will get their HNT back. The last one on my list is the service that has the lowest entry requirements. So there are two of these services. We have validator pools and HNT staking. They already require one HNT to join a pool. There is a little difference in cost. So the monthly fee of this one is a bit higher than the other one, but the fee is lower. So with this one, you have to pay 4% of your earnings and then a portion of the $120 fee for the server. So if you have 1% of the pool, you will pay 1% of that fee. So in this case, $1.2 and in the other case it will be $1.5, but you'll only pay 3% uh, fee on your rewards. Now for both services, I'm a little bit disappointed. They do have some contact information on there. So this one has an email and a Discord link, but they don't have any information about the team. Validator Pools does have a lot more information about their service on the website, but sadly they also don't have information on the team on there. They do have some more socials on there, but again, I do like to know who is behind the project when I'm giving them money. All right, that's it for my summary. I will put a link in the description to this Excel sheet. If you see that something is no longer up to date, just post a comment and I will update my list. There is also one little piece of information I do wanna give you guys when it comes to the rewards. The rewards that you're earning on your staking will be paid out daily. So if you're running your own node, it will be constantly added to your wallet. If you're joining a pool, just check it out for each pool. It might be different, but I did notice that most of the pools will be paying out the rewards on a daily basis. So yes, the HNT that you lock up, you will have to wait five months to get it out. But when it comes to rewards, they will be available right away. Now, before I finish off this video, I want to ask you guys if there is any interest from the viewers, from the investor brand community to create our own validator note. So I'm talking about a pooling service because I don't have 10k HNT myself and I know a lot of you do have a miner, maybe two miners. So that means that you probably don't have 10k HNT either. Um, when it comes to the validator and the pooling services available, the big thing that I'm missing is an easy way to get in and to get out. Now, I don't have a solution for this yet, but this is something that I would definitely be looking at if you would create our own validator system. I want to find a way where you can very easily uh, with, for example, 100 HNT that you can get in and can get out and they don't have to wait five months. If this is something that you are interested in, please post a comment. And if you have enough people um, reply to this video and say that they are interested, I will create a Discord group or something else or a Telegram group so we can discuss the details uh, further on that channel. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you made it to the end, be sure to post a comment. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.